ପରିଷ୍କାର ଶ୍ରଦ୍ଧା ଶ୍ରଦ୍ଧା ଶବ୍ଦ ବିଶ୍ୱାସ କହେ ସୁନ୍ଦର ଈଶ୍ୱର କୃଷ୍ଣେ ଭକ୍ତି କହିଲେ ସର୍ବ କର୍ମ କୃତ ଶ୍ରଦ୍ଧା ମିନ୍ସ ଆର କୃଷ୍ଣ ଭକ୍ତି କହିଲେ ସର୍ବକର୍ମ କୃତ many say so but we find that 99.9% of the people have no faith in it. they only say so in the core of their heart they have no faith this is only mere saying then then therefore there are so many problems in this material world if one can understand it very clearly if he is fortunate enough if he is intelligent enough to accept the bona fide spiritual master and believe in him. So there is no problem for him. Many say that yes, we have to do we are karma jogis. We are work what yes you have to work because you have been given this body which consists of so many senses hands legs eyes ears so many and those senses to be utilized what to do with these senses by these senses that is called what general definition so general faith but question arises what to be done which is perfect work which is real work this is most important question so therefore we have to approach the bona fide sadhu or guru spiritual master and ask him. because one who is a sadhu or guru He knows everything perfectly. There are two types of jeevas, living entities in this material world. Uh, Yes, in this metal world, do you know what are they? The eternal ego and soul, huh? and the eternal consciousness. Yes. They are Mukta Jeeva and Baddha Jeeva, we say. It's liberated souls and conditioned souls. Do you understand? Some are Nitya Baddha, some are Nitya Mukta. Some are eternally liberated, some are eternally conditioned. Those who are 
can be sung. They will be liberated. Not a fact that that cannot be liberated. So, from this conditioning state, if someone is liberated, he is said as Baddha Mukta. We say Baddha Mukta. Once you ask condition, now he is liberated. By accepting a bona fide spiritual master and surrendering himself into his lotus feet, and clarifying his old doubts relating to this sign of self realization and acting properly in his guidance, guidance of a spiritual bona fide spiritual master has become liberated. His conditional state is gone now. That is it. Mm-hmm. So we have to believe in the statement of Sadhu, Sastra and Guru. There is another question, another important thing, matter. Who is the real Guru or who is the real Sadhu? That's another different thing that we should know. A small, a very, I am say, important definition is given regarding sadhu and guru that one who is a completely surrendered soul, Krishnika Saranatam, is completely surrendered soul like the lotus feet of Hari, Supreme Lord Hari, he is sadhu. Is good. This is a general definition at the same time an important definition. Huh? And this is the principal symptom of a sadhu and a guru. And there are other that we say goal of your secondary symptoms. When this principal Symptom is there and one should possess this principal symptom or one who completely surrenders himself to the lotus feet of Supreme Lord Kali. Automatically, the other symptoms, secondary symptoms, develop. One need not. Try separately develop those qualities. They automatically develop. Just as the bhakti, Rodhya Kintana, Sarbhig, Nishtatra, Samashti Sura, Parava Bhaktasya, Kutamahatguna, Manartena Sati, Bhavata Bhaji. This is stated in Srimad Bhagavad. Just as the bhakti, Rodhya Kintana, Sarbhig, Nishtatra, Samashti Sura. Bhagavati Akinchana. Okinchan Bhakta Akinchana Bhakti. Unalloyed devotion we say in English. One who has developed this unalloyed devotion to Lord Hari. The Shastri Bhakti Bhagavati Akin. Sarbhi Gunishta Krasamasti Sura. All demigods manifest in his body. And all the good qualities, godly qualities, also manifest in his father. You understand? Rava Bhakta Sekuta Mahatmuna 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 Bahi. One who is, a, is not a devotee of Lord Hari, a Bhakta of Hari, non devotee, huh? he has no good qualities. However great he may be in this material world. He may be a great scholar, Pandit, he may be a great hero, 
You may be a great politician. You may be a great intelligent person. You may be a great ruler, administrator. You may be a great worker, karma bureau. Whatever you may be. Huh? You may be a great scientist. You understand? Whatever it may be. Arabhavattasya kuta mahatguna manathya nasati dhavakoy. He has no good quality. No mahatguna. No good quality. What he is doing? What he really does? Manathya nasati dhavakoyi. He is a mental speculator. He only speculates. Right? is a mental speculator, great speculator, you only speculate. That is Swami. Manatnasa Dhavakvati. So, one should become devotee of Lord Hari. To develop this devotion, so to reign there, Loving devotional service of Lord Hari. And how can it be done? It is only possible by surrendering oneself at the lotus feet as a bona fide representative of the Lord, of Guru or Shabha. The sun person a devotion, a completely surrendered soul, is always engaged in the loving. Service Lord Hari. Whoever comes to him, or surrenders unto him, he engages him in the service of Lord Hari. This is the only process for one to become a bhakta, a devotee. You understand? And it is your state. And Srimad Bhavad Gita also says, Mami Bansa Jeeva Loki Jeeva Bhuta. Jeeva, the Jeevatma, the spirit soul, the living entity, is an eternal part and parcel of the Supreme Lord, the Paramahatma. The Supreme Lord is great, Vibhu. And Jivatma, Jiva, living entity, spirit soul is on, is very, very minute. So this is the natural ah, tendency of Jivatma. Uh, spirit soul to Render devotional service unto Lord Hari as he is the eternal part and parcel of Lord Hari. Thereby he will get pleasure. Hmm? The hmm? But one who is a conditioned soul, he cannot understand. What he is? What is his constitutional position? Only knows, only understands that he is this body. He is this body. You understand? He doesn't know that he is not this, this body. Something different from this body. So brilliant, you understand? So, he does everything to get pleasure, to get happiness, to give, give pleasure or give happiness to this body, little body. Tries his best in different ways. Right. But ultimately, we 
ध्यान की प्लेन रिजॉर्ट है यही संस्कृत आप होगा खुद उनमें ये एक होती आप जनता बंद तक उनमें से या नाम से सुना मुझे origin of all this place you understand reason ko aap hoga dukh do ye hote hain aadam to bant ko unte ya no desura mat dukha buddha means learned persons does a learned this vedic scripture does no veda tatva essence of veda In other words, we may say those are the good, those are real sadhus. They know this. They are never interested in the sense pleasure. They understand not the shlomo because they know it's not pleasure, not a pleasing. Rather, this pleasing that gives you pleasure because they are not body. Based on, you know, one should understand, one should know it very clearly. How soul will be pleased? How soul will get pleasure? So, Sastra says, Mahajana says, Ajaya says, Bona Pad authorities says, what do they say? भक्ति मीन्स डिवोशनल सर्विस If one performs devotional service to the Supreme Lord, he will get pleasure. He will get real happiness. This is the pleasure and happiness of Atma, the spirit soul. Tamil people so follow Dharma not to be. Ahetu ki apatyata, jaya Atma. It is ahetu ki. There is no reason. Apratyata cannot be checked. Understand this thought? Because it is quite natural. Because we are living entities of spirit soul, part and parcel of the super soul. We say. This is Atma Gruti. This is the function of Atma. You understand? Thereby, Atma, the spirit soul, will get pleasure. No other way. Allah Maharaj, the Mahajan, the Bona Pai Authority, says in this verse that in every body there is Atma and the Paramatma. Both are there. Paramatma is supreme Lord, and Atma is part and parcel. Both are there. So one knows this truth, the Siddhant of this conclusion. He pays respect to all living entities according to living entity position or manifestation. To pay respect means to pay respect to. Paramatma, you understand? Not to the body, not to the body. One who is real sadhu, a pure devotee, he pays respect to one and all. The sadhu is respected by all, you understand? 
also respect a sadhu, a devotee, because he is always with the Supreme Lord Hari, he is very dear to Lord Hari. So he should be respected. If Sauce is blessing, then very, very beneficial to this condition of soul. But before one paying respect to such a sadhu, sadhu pays respect. You understand? But how he pays? Here it is stated. According to the living and disposition of manifestation. If someone is superior, so one should pay respect publicly. You understand? One who is not superior, inferior, against position or manifestation. The sadhu pays in respect in his mind, not public. The inferior person should pay respect to sadhu publicly. This is a lokshikya. You understand? Teach the public. That is to be done. So, this is what the common substance of this verse and purport of Srila Prabhupada and Supreme Court description of what you do is. Those who don't know English, they are now disappointed. They are not speaking in English. Some people already left. Who understand being disappointed? I'd like to render some service also. Huh? Try to render some service. What service? How can I eat very nice and palatable food? How can I get? Only for that reason you will render service? What do you say? No. No? Then let him say. <laughs> what service? What sort of service you want to do? Oh, devotional service. What is that? I don't know what is that devotional service. I am a very ignorant fool. Try to preach to devotees. Oh, you are devotee. That means you will serve him? Try to. Try to. Oh, then he is intelligent now. <laughs> so you will never now live only for eating. Isn't it? You have now. Rectified yourself, I think so. Huh? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yes. Me, that pure devotee, uh, as he says it, Prahlad Maharaj, bless you. Our mind, if we are Guru Maharaj, so far, may bless you. You can understand. You understand? All right. This is funny enough. <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> yeah. Speaking in Oriya, the other actors. Spontane sounds come. <laughs> Body, isn't it? So, the conditions of things that I must leave for to fulfill these four needs. Mahajan like Lord Maharaj and very spiritual like Srimad Bhagavatam says, what? No, you need not live for this. Lava Jiva Padavata. You have to live to get that supreme gain. What is that? Krishna Bhakti. That is supreme gain. Sriyo love, Param love. You have to live only for this purpose, not for other purposes. <laughs> Nurohari is very greedy. <laughs> he always is always awaiting when some feeding is there for me or not. Isn't it? 
More association with the central person and listen more Krishna Katha. And thereby release, feel your belly. <laughs> what do you say? No so food right. will be given henceforward to you. <laughs> you should feel in your belly with this Krishna Katha, the nectar. Only nectar. Is it all right? <laughs> So I will speak the, tell the president not give you anything to fill your belly, stomach, material belly. <laughs> you understand? What I am speaking, what I am, what I was saying, what I was saying, that for you all you are. <laughs> Samit Pani Sutriyam Brahmanishtam Upanishad says. Eh? To know the science, science of what? Science of self realization. One should approach a bona fide spiritual master to know this tattva, who has seen tattva, tattva drasta, tattva jnata. One who has known this tattva, one who has seen this tattva. You understand? Do you understand anything by such thing? Do you understand? Yes. You are falling. You understand it. One who has seen the tattva. What do you mean by that? One who knows tattva, yes, some, something we know. Form some idea, yes. One has seen the tattva. What do you mean by that? Have you any idea about it? According to Bhagavad Gita, a self realized soul, Samadarshana, who will of love of God, who has seen, who knows the absolute truth. Yes, you know the absolute truth, tattva jnata, tattva drashta, who has seen tattva. What is that? Abdaya jnana tattva braje brajendra kumara. This is said. Abdaya jnana tattva braje brajendra kumara. Brajendra kumara, the son of king of braja. And then son of Nanda Maharaj. Is known as Abdaya jnana tattva is absolute truth. One has seen that absolute truth. In other words, we say one has seen Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj. He is Tattva Drashta. You understand? One who knows about him is Tattva Jnata. He is knower of the truth. You understand? One has seen him is Tattva Drashta. He has seen the absolute truth. That means we see. You understand? So one should approach such a person and inquire there. To you know the science, science of self realization. You understand? So Vijnana happens, so Guru, Adigasya. One must approach such a Guru, spiritual master. One must see the truth. One who knows the truth, and knows the science of self-realization, began science. Do you understand? One has to do it. Must, he must do it. It is not optional. It is compulsory. Isn't it? Huh? This is 
compulsory. On the part of a human being. Because the opportunity has been given in this very form of life. Human form of life. And this life is meant for that. You understand? So one has to do. Thereby, you can perfect your life. You can achieve the supreme perfection. You understand? Then you have to do. such a bona fide spiritual master and ask and clarify your doubt. That we generally say and most of my speaking is this. You understand? What is the position and manifestation? All our souls undoubtedly. But how many know this? This is question number one. And only it is possible in human form of life. Then comes the next question. How many of the human beings know this clearly? That I am not this body, I am this soul. Then then one, the human body or human being, one who knows it very clearly that I am not this body, I am this very soul. You should pay respect. You understand? Huh? Second thing, next thing is that only knowing this is not sufficient. I'm Brahmasmi. I am not this body, I am this very soul. This is not sufficient. Further more is given. That is what? Jivar Suruk Hoy Krishna Nityata. I am an eternal servant of the Supreme Lord Hari. This is my constitutional position, Swaru. One who knows this thing, practices this thing in his very life, is furthermore, he should be respected. Was understood it, was realized this, and who sees this in the evil living and never sees the body, only sees the soul and super soul, his son. He's a great devotee, he's a pure devotee, he's a boy snob, he should be respected according to the position and manifestation. You should be respected by one and all. You understand? But I, I had already said, Sadhu knows it very well. The sadhu never disrespects any living entity. He pays respect to all living entities, made with a tiny eye. 
But how he pays? He pays mental, not publicly. He pays also publicly one who is superior to him in spiritual pain. He pays him respect publicly, but to all mental. Before you paying respect to a sadhu, the sadhu has already paid you respect. That you don't know. You understand? I got in question and mentioned that all. This means so. Is it clear? Sense and mind and intelligence. How can it be? How can it be? You will serve through your senses, through your body, not without body. Does he get that ornament and fear? 
Guru has their own job. That means Guru has a factory. He manufactures their own job. Uh, do you want to be a factory worker there? <laughs> what do you say, Sachinam? <laughs> Guru has no such factory as we generally know. A factory is. What a factory is. This factory is set up here. <laughs> that is only through Sravanam. Sravanam is the factory. Shruta ikhita patam. Patam. That is stated. Shruta ikhita. If you hear, then you can see. By hearing, you will see. This is very powerful. You understand? If you humbly hear from the lips of a bona fide spiritual master, if you are devotee, automatically that ornament is smeared into your eyes. It's automatic process. Then you can see that Samsundar within and without. Chakshudamdila Dei, Janme Janme Prabhu. That is true. Life after life, life is my master who has given me this visa, who has opened such eyes. Ajnana. Ibrandasya jnananjana svargaya. Chakshur militam jena tasmi sri jubena. That we say. Do you understand now? So it is non difference here and no other. In that sense, no difference. Yeah. Yes. Sudekita. By hearing you can see. You understand? So there is no difference. Finish? Thank you. Very quickly. Yeah. To approach a bona fide spiritual master. To approach a bona fide spiritual master. Guru Padasraya. Huh? Guru Padasrayas, Dikya. You understand? Guru Padasrayas, Dikya. Sriman Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is instructed Sanatana Goswami. While he was instructing Sanatana Goswami, he has said this thing. Do you know that? Huh? Mahaprabhu's instruction to Sanatana Goswami on this object? Huh? For devotional service. Huh? I know just Sanatana Goswami has said. Once asked to my Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mm. what is uh, the constitutional position of living entity? Mm. And uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied that that the original constitution of living entity is to render service to the Supreme Lord. How can you do it? By approaching a spirit, bona fide spirit, representative of the Lord. Yes. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhyalila. Hmm. Twenty-second chapter, you will find it. Do you understand? Dividhango sadhan bhaktiro mohuto vistaro Dividhango sadhan bhaktiro mohuto vistaro I'm 
भोगो त्यागो कृष्ण तीर्थे भासो सनातन शिक्षा फर्स्ट थिंग गुरु पाद दीक्षा गुरु अप्रोचेड स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर बी इनिशिएटेड बाय टीम टेक इनिशिएशन फ्रॉम हिम दीक्षा देन गुरु सेवन सर्व द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर सद्धर्म शिक्षा पृछा साधु मार्गान तत्व जिज्ञासा जीव से तत्व जिज्ञासा नीजन Why have you come here to Gurukul? Why have you come to accept this thing? To be trained, to get training from the bona fide spiritual master. How to learn that loving devotional service and to be supreme in love? You understand? This is the part. Then stand to fulfill this purpose. You have to first approach the bona fide spiritual master and be initiated. Take initiation, be cha, serve guru, guru seva. Then inquire. Ah, huh? clarify all your doubt. Then stand. Then sadhu margan unga mano. Then trade. The path that really sadhus have prayed, you understand? Become a sadhu. Krishna pritya bhogot yago Krishna pritya bhaktam. Huh? Javan nirbhav, prati graho, ekadosi upavasha. Nothing else. You should give up all your Sense and enjoyment. Then same. This is a strict brahmachari. For what purpose? If you try to take them, that's a lie. The main thing is for Krishna priti, for the pleasure of Krishna. Then same. Krishna priti bhogatya. You give up all sense pleasures for the pleasure of Krishna. Krishna tilte basa. You must reside in Krishna tirtha. Dham. Then say Vrindavan Dham, Madura Dham, Purushottam Dham, Bhuvaneswar Dham, Maya Pur Dham. सर्विस गुरु एकादशी उपवास फास्टिंग सो मेनी थिंग्स सनातन शिक्षा महाप्रभु गिवन द थिंग इन सनातन शिक्षा साधु वर्तमान वर्तमान सद्धर्म पूछा गुरु पाद आश्रय दीक्षा माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर जिला वे स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर श्री लो प्रभात महाराज मेंशन दैट थिंग पर पर 
understand. This is brahmachari training. And you should believe in all these instructions, sadhu sastra guru, adho sraddha, tato sadhu sangha, associate with sadhus, then adho sraddha, tato sadhu sangha, tato bhajanu kriya. And in, in that category, tato sadhu sangha means association with sadhu, means accepting a bona fide spiritual master. Toto bhajan kriya, then bhajan kriya, how to do bhajan, Krishna bhajan. Then saying, the object of bhajan is Krishna, bhajan ya was to Krishna. Then saying, and that spiritual master teach you that. He knows how to do Krishna bhajan, and your duty is to do Krishna bhajan. And you should be taught by a bona fide spiritual master, in this way, gradual process. Adu sraddha tato sadhu sango to bhajan kriya tato anartha nirjuti then comes a gradual process, brahmachari train. In Srimad Bhagavata 11th canto, also state, Bhagavan Krishna says to Uddhava, eh? what are the duties of Brahmachari? Do you know it? Collect Dikya. Yes, yes, yes. For whom? For the spiritual master. The spiritual master. The only duty. <laughs> Is the only duty only to collect vikya? Following many instructions given by spiritual master and his guidance. Directions. Judgments are in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto. Divyam prapyan kurpa janmo payanayanam dijaha vasan guru kule danto brahma dhita chahuta. No, <laughs> God, no. When the disciple takes initiation, then son becomes brahmachari. Yeah? is known as brahmachari. Guru, the spiritual master, does the sanskar kriya purification perform purificatory rites, sacrifices, jogya, isn't it? Thereby he gets second bar, dvija. It's known as dvija, isn't it? The spiritual master gives him second bar. Huh? First bar, some father and mother, some semen, isn't it? Other semen, mother's womb. First part. Second part when accepting spiritual master and takes initiation. The second part becomes, the body becomes brahmachari. And spiritual master gives that part. So spiritual master is his father and mother. Both. You understand? Say, say, Parama Bando, say, Pita Mata. Sri Krishna Charone Jai Premo Bhakti Data. Say, Vin Chattam. Then saying, that spiritual master is our supreme friend, he is our father and mother. Then saying, because he has given me the same God, he has given me new life, second life. He has opened my eyes. Huh? Bhakti Chakyo. So that eye I can see the Supreme Lord Krishna. Isn't it? The spiritual master performs all sorts of sanskaras, the Right. 
the ceremony. You understand? There are ten Dasavidha Sanskar in Vedas mentioned. Hmm? Ten types of Sanskar. Do you know it? Huh? Beginning from Garbhadhana up to Upanayana. You understand? Garbhadhana to Upanayana. Ten Sanskar are there. Mentioned in Veda, in scripture. Some of those sanskaras we perform here. In that day we perform Mahaprabhu's son, the saving ceremony, Tulakaran. That is out of ten sanskaras. You understand? Yeah? And it ends at Upanayana. Then Brahmachari will stay in Guru Kula. Huh? He will be trained how to control mind and senses and study Vedas under the guidance of spiritual master. Then comes second instruction. Atadyam mam vijanyam nap mannet karichit na marti buddha suyate Bhagavan Krishna says, Atadyam mam vijanyam nam mannet karichit nam arti buddha suyate sarvadeva maya. One who is Atharya, spiritual master, the representative of Supreme Lord Hari, Sakhyad Hari Tena Samasa Sahasri, is as good as Hari. You understand? You should not proclaim as an ordinary human being. You understand? That is said. Sarvadeva Maya Guru. All the demigods are there in his body. You understand? Then comes so many things. Kayam Prata Rupanya Vaikam Tati Nibade, Jatsanya Dapka Anugyan Nipajunji Tasanjata. Then friend. Early in the morning, Brahmachari will get up from bed, rise. Eh? And then Mangalarti, all these things, listening to Srimad Bhagavatam, then get out for Vidya, collection of Vidya. Return in the evening. Yes, sir. Sayam Pratoha Pani Vaikam Tasmin Nivedas, whatever he gets, give everything to spiritual master. You understand? Huh? That's Brahmachari's duty. Whatever Vikya he collects, give everything. Spiritual master. Then, out of mercy, the spiritual master will give something for the Brahmachari. Yes, you, this is for your prasad. Then you will take prasad. You know, prasad. <laughs> Don't stand, no worry. Are you doing like that? <laughs> you are not doing. <laughs> doing? Oh. Temple. Huh? The temple. Yeah. Whatever is given is Guru gives you. Yeah. But now, when I'm, the, I'm in the West, mm. I'm collecting for you. For yeah. some time, mm. myself I keep like him. But I can take some just for it's still necessary to buy something so. Yes, that it says here that we are singing from the Dhamrata. Huh? Javan Nirbaho Prati Graho. Huh? Egadati. Javan Nirbaho means what is then necessary for keep this body and soul together. Keep this body fit for the service of you. That is only acceptable, not more than that. So many other instructions are there. Now time is over.